Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time that I've been back. Um, because before this video, you're going to probably see... Well, you've probably already seen um, my update on the COVID. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to drop this video before my maternity haul. But I do have a maternity haul um, coming up. Like I said, I'm not sure if you guys are going to see it before this video or after this video. I'm not sure like how I'm going to do it. Um, but that one's already pre-recorded. But anyway, um, I did want to give you guys an update. Um, just like a quick little update on um, my COVID symptoms. So pretty much everyone in the house is over COVID. Like we're all negative. Um, but for some reason, I'm the one that still feels kind of like sick. Um, only like I have like a lot of like clear mocos. I know that's TMI, but I just want to be real with you guys. Hold on. Why is my camera dirty? Okay, so, um, but I do have, like, a lot of mocos, like, sick with it. Like, it's so fucking annoying. And on top of that, I have, um, obviously, you guys can tell, um, obviously, I have my voice back. But you guys could tell I do still sound kind of like, like, my voice sounds deep. Um, so that's not cool because I'm like, I want my voice back. Like, <clears throat> I do have a little bit of a cough, but like I said, I am negative, so... Um, I don't think I'm contagious anymore, you know? So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm still drinking hot tea, even though I'm, like, over hot tea already. It's, like, like, you know when you drink too much of something or eat too much of something, you just kind of, like, you get asco after a while. You're just, like, ugh, I'm over it. Um, but, yeah, so I'm, like, over hot tea. But I'm still trying to drink hot tea because I know I need it. Um, it helps my throat, which I don't understand. Like, I've been drinking, like, every fucking day. Like, I'm oh, sorry. Every freaking day with honey. And yet I still sound like this, like... Um, but yeah, so I mean, most, my voice is kind of coming back, but it does sound kind of deep still and like raspy. But anyway, um, let me see. Okay, so basically that's the update about the COVID. Um, other than that, um, honestly guys, I have not gotten ready and done my makeup in like the longest. Like, excuse me, like the last time I did my, uh, it was probably, it's been like weeks that I've done my makeup. Like literally like, um, I have been looking like so like crap lately, like. Um, well, because obviously I've been sick with COVID and then also, um, my pregnancy, like I'm just like extremely tired, exhausted. Um, if you guys have ever had like multiple pregnancies, um, you guys know exactly what, um, I mean, this is my sixth pregnancy. Um, this is my sixth pregnancy. So, um, I do feel a lot more exhausted. I'm feeling it in my body, in my back a lot. Um, you guys know I do suffer from sciatica and I also have arthritis. So just all of that, um, all of that like together, just like really like it puts a toll on my body, you know, and then all obviously like I just had my birthday, my birthday just passed. Um, I didn't like celebrate my birthday with you guys because I was still sick and I'm, I, like I said, I still don't feel that great. So we honestly didn't do anything for my birthday. We just stood home. Jerry ordered us, um, it was Outback Steakhouse. So we just ended up eating that and just chilled all day. Like we we're just like, we've been like binging on Netflix. Like we've been watching some really good shows. Like, let me just tell you guys, like some good shows. Um, hold on. Anyway, yeah, so we've been watching some really good shows on Netflix. We've just been binging because obviously... We all had COVID, so we all had to take off, like, the whole week. Um, but hopefully, if everything goes good, Jerry's going to return back to work. Um, I think today's Sunday. I'm not sure. But he's going to return back to work on Monday. Um, the kids, well, I know that Elizabeth's uh, teacher, like, their whole class, there was, like, five people that got, or five kids, students that got hit with COVID. So I know that she's going to be off. I'm not sure until when they said they're going to update me, the school. Um, but I think Vincent and Donovan can go back to school on Monday. So that's the plan. Other than that, um, on my surrogacy journey, let me see updates. Um, you guys, it's like it's a long story. <laughs> I don't even want to get into it, but basically, it's like been a back and forth thing. With it's been a huge issue with my insurance. Like it's just it's such a pain in the ass with my insurance because of where I live. I do live in um, the Inland Empire, um, to be specific. I do live in San Bernardino County. I'm not going to give, like, the city I live in, but I do live in the San Bernardino County. And because of that, <clears throat> my doctor is located. Anyway, um, so because of that, my um, doctor is located in Orange County, California. So it is, like, a drive for me. So it was, like, a, like it's, like, a hundred, uh, a hundred, oh, my God. 
It's like an hour and 30 minutes with no traffic, but usually it takes me an hour and 45 minutes to get there. Because there's always fucking traffic. There's always like some type of car accident or something, which is because like people speed because they're stupid. And anyway, um, so since my doctor is, my OB is uh, kind of far from my house, um, it's this big old thing with the insurance about I had to get an LA or Orange County address. And then I did that. And then they still weren't approving it because they were saying that I needed to change a group, the group, not the group number, but the group ID or something like that. And then I changed it to, um, what was like, I changed it to, to, um, I, I guess like what, whoever was in a network with my doctor and literally it's just been a back and forth thing. I've been, I changed it like about five times already. I keep calling the, um, in the back of the car, like the number to talk to customer service. And I'm like, where's my insurance card? I've been waiting for my insurance card since I was 15 weeks pregnant. This is BS that I've been waiting this long for my insurance card. I keep getting the runaround saying, oh, we sent it out. You should have gotten it by now. It only takes three to 10 business days and blah, blah, blah. And I still haven't got it. And then when I call again to see this, check the status, like it's been over 10 business days. Oh, they're like, I don't know who told you that because, um, it's never been sent out. Like no one ever sent it. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, I have a second ultrasound that I have to get done. I have blood work that I need to get done. I was supposed to do blood work since before I was 20 weeks. And um, I have never done that. Still haven't done that. So I still don't have my insurance card. So it's just, it's been such a like headache and like stressful. Um, I know it's not good to get stressed when you're pregnant. That's why I'm trying not to stress. But it's like hard not to stress. Like I got hit with COVID. I'm still waiting for my insurance card. Um, you know, and on top of that, just the normal, like the pregnancy symptoms, like um, I, I get waves of nausea every so often, but I think, I think it's because like, I've been like really dehydrated. I've been drinking as much water as I can, you guys, but I feel like the more water I drink, the more I want to like throw up. So anyway, I've been drinking a Sprite because I feel like Sprite or like, um, squirt, like the light sodas, it's been helping with my nausea, you know? But even after I have a soda, I do try to down like a whole bottle of water to like, to like, um, what is it called to like even out so it's not like so i won't get dehydrated basically so um i've been trying to do that but this COVID really kicked my ass you guys like it's just been it's it's like i mean it's not cool to be sick at all but i'd rather like be sick and not pregnant because then i could take medication and i could like take like nyquil dayquil or theraflu and i could take all that stuff and then i can get better quicker but I'm limited on what I could take because I'm pregnant, you know? So it just sucks to be pregnant and sick at the same time. It just really, really, like, it. I felt, like, horrible, you know? Like, I feel like I got hit by a bus. And it's just been really, like, a struggle. Um, I haven't had the energy to film for you guys, and I'm so sorry about that. I've been so out of it. I've been so tired, drained of energy. I've just, I haven't even wanted to do anything, get up, shower, like, even shower, you guys. I've been, like, oh, like, dreading showering, like, because I'm just so tired. I just want to lie in bed all day. Um, But I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to, like, get the energy to get up. I do still get shortness of breath when I talk a lot. Uh, I've been told I talk really fast, and I'm sorry if I talk really fast. That's just me. But anyway, um, I don't I don't want to keep rambling on, but I just wanted to give you guys those quick little updates. I appreciate all of you guys, all my supporters. I love you guys so much. Um, I will try to film as much as I can for you guys. It's just bear with me. I'm just not feeling that great right now. Um, like I said, I had to force myself to put makeup on only because I'm like, I don't look so dead. And also, too, you guys, oh, my God, because of my hormones, I've been breaking out. Like, I know you guys could see this pimple right here. This one just came out. Like, it just barely going away. I had one over here somewhere. I know you could see it. Then I had one in the middle right here. I'm like, oh, my gosh. But then again, it's because, like, I haven't been doing my skincare routine because, like I said, I haven't been up to doing nothing. Like, nothing. So I have, I'm going to get back to my skincare routine. I'm like, I have to because, like... I'm like, I want to, like, have pimple face, you know? So, no, yeah, I have to get back to my skincare routine. So, I've been lagging on that. Um, other than that, other than that, I did want to do my makeup so I could look a little bit decent for you guys. Um, I didn't put my extensions on. This is how long, how short my hair actually is. I didn't want to put my extensions on because I was just, like, not feeling it. I'm, like, so tired. I'm like, look, at least I did make my makeup and I straightened my hair. I look a little decent. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so basically today we're going to be going to Costco and just, um, we don't really need toilet paper or Scott towels. We usually just go for like the main things like Clorox wipes, Scott towels, toilet paper, um, 
sometimes like frozen foods like um we'll get like the box of waffles like the um uh was it lego ego ego waffles i think they're called uh for the kids and then um sometimes we'll get like those like frozen pizzas just for like days like i don't feel like cooking or i'm tired like just pop a, a pizza in and just let them eat that or waffles in the morning like it's just quick um but yeah so we're gonna go to costco i think jerry wants to get some meat so we're gonna probably get some like asada some milanesa pork chops just stuff like that so we're gonna take you guys along with us and i'm sorry again i guess shortness of breath but we'll take you guys along with us to costco and that's i think that's all we're gonna do today we'll just see how it plays out i'm not sure where else we're gonna go but i did want to get like dressed up and look decent for you guys so i'm gonna show you guys my quick little outfit i'm sorry i don't have like a full body mirror <sighs> Oof. i'm waiting till we get our house and then i'm gonna get like a full body mirror because honestly this house is so small there's nowhere to put it like there's nowhere to put anything even like if i get my vanity right now there's nowhere to put it so i have to kind of like wait which sucks but whatever but i got this cute little um shirt i think i got this one from shein yeah which you guys are gonna see um when i do my maternity haul or like if you guys already seen it then you already know but if not you'll probably see it after this video i'm not sure like i said how i'm gonna post the videos but um here's my little bump so let me show you guys like this is my little bump right here i have my uh, maternity jeans on so that's what i'm wearing i have a little black like <clears throat> i have a little black cardigan i'm gonna put on it is kind of gloomy and dark outside. Let me see if I can show you my guys. window. Sorry, it's like dusty. I haven't dusted. Whatever it is, what it is. Okay, but you see how like gloomy it is outside today? It's very gloomy. Okay, so we're going to see you guys right now when we head out to Costco. The kids are just getting getting dressed. Well, the boys are. Lizzie and me, we showered this morning. Tonight, the boys are going to shower and Jerry too. And yeah, that's about it. So we'll see you guys right now when we go to Costco. You ready? Yeah, let's go. We are going to Costco now. Where are we going first? Where are the bags at? Oh. Look at the bags there. They're so mean. So we're going to get ground beef. Yeah. We're going to have to re-study this week. Oh, yeah. 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 Thirty-six, forty. Expensive, guys. Costco meat's expensive. Costco's green on the hands, guys. We'll just get one then. Just get one. Okay. Yeah, just Give get me a one. bag, my love. We got money, but come on now. We got money, but not like that. <laughs> this is everything we got in our cart, you guys. <laughs> got some containers. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at my nose. The mask took my makeup off. Oh my God! Are you gonna be okay, babe? Uh, come on. Okay, so we're leaving Costco right now. We're gonna go to Walmart because we have to get a light bulb for our fridge because it just blew out. So we'll see you guys at Walmart. We are here at Walmart. What does it smell like? Yeah. Like lemon? Yeah. I got the smell of lemon. Light bulbs. So Donnie's putting the waffles away in our fridge. Yes, I am. Vinny's gonna put the gogur away, and then we just have meats right here. We're gonna put these away. We got some laundry. Oh my baby, I missed you. Oh, I missed you so much. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness. And then we got some older def defense. Well, these, like, I just call them these like little balls that we put inside of the um, washer and it just helps the clothes to smell really good. Put them down, you know, hey, behave, okay? Behave. 
Be the brat. Just don't pick him up. You know how he gets. And then Jerry got this sliced, what? Face, beef. I don't know. He got this too. Um, I got this for my teacher. Hold her on, name, her name is. So Lizzie got this for her teacher. She got some like box of chocolates. Oh, and then show what we got at Walmart. We'll show what we got at Walmart right now. And then Donnie got this for his teacher, some chocolates. And then for Vinny. And then this is for Vinny's teacher. So we're going to give these to their teachers um, when it gets closer to Valentine's Day. Which one? Mine? This one? That one, yeah. No. <coughs> Dame the bag, mamita. Dame. And then this is what we got from Walmart. Let me show you. So we got these little... um. I like to burn these little wax things inside of the bathroom because they smell good. We got this one. We got the. We got um. Uh, this is a light bulb that we needed for the fridge. Uh, see if you could put it in for me. And then, I got this this one. I actually smelled them too, so before we bought them, so I know. And then Lizzie picked out this sweet watermelon buttercream. These smell so bomb. This uh scent. So we got this one, and then I got another one of the same one basically. And then we ended up getting. Hold on. We ended up getting some tissue, some Kleenex, and then we got some more toilet paper, um, which we're going to put up here. Like, our, our thing is kind of like, it's kind of messy, but you have to organize it. <clears throat> and I also wanted to show you guys, excuse how dark my room is, but this is my PR box that I got. It's the Yvette XO PR box that she just collabed with Beauty Creations. It's so huge, you guys. It's so cute. Look, I want to show you guys the stickers. Sorry about that. Why is my camera so... Anyway. But look, and it comes with... This is so pretty, you guys. So I'm going to open it right now with you guys. So this is basically my birthday present that Jerry got me. And he also got me a Ninja Blender, which we've been using already. Oh Hold my on. gosh, you guys. This is freaking huge. Okay, so it's Whoa. in this bubble. Okay. So let me take the bubble wrap off. Oh my god. Look at how beautiful that is. This is huge, you guys. Hold on. Okay, watch. Let me see. Look at how big this is. Oh and my god. This yeah. is huge. Okay, hold on. Okay, so she left the message. I remember too when I seen her um her video on YouTube. So basically it says, I'm so excited to share with you Iveric Soul plus uh Beauty Creations. I've been working on this for over a year now and teaming up with one of my favorite brands has truly been a dream come true. Everything in this collection was made with so much love for my girls and all the beauty creation. Oh, and all the beauty creation, babes. Thank you for always being believing in me. I can't wait to see how good everyone looks in the collection. XOXO uh, Yvette. You know how to read, babe? Stop, you're fucking rude. Okay, so like, let me open it. Oh my God, it looks so fun. Oh my God, look at this. Oh. This is so pretty. I cannot wait to do some nice makeup looks with this. So I believe this is the setting spray, yeah. This is the setting spray. This is the All Eyes On Me eyeshadow palette. This one is the Snatched Me Face palette. And then over here we have the Lip Trio. So let me see, let me take this out, hold on. Yes, I told them you got it for my birthday. So here's the setting spray, you guys. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Which you guys probably already know what it looks like because if you've seen, uh, if you're a fan of uh, Vivetic So, then you already seen on her channel. So this is the setting spray and I'm so excited to use this. And here is the lip trio, you guys. So, let me see. Oh, it slides like this. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. This is so pretty. Oh my god, these colors are beautiful. Okay, let me look at the lipstick. Sorry about the bad lighting, but here's the lipstick. Oh my god, that's so freaking beautiful. And I love nudes. And I, I've always like loved um Blanca. Well, Yvette so but Blanca. You call me back? No, is your name Blanca? Oh my bad. Um, I've always loved like um her makeup because like she wears like a lot of nudes, and um that's like usually what I'm into. I do like color, but like as you could tell, like. I like more like uh, natural like nudes and stuff, so I can't wait to try this out. Okay, here is the next one. She looks so pretty right here. This is the All Eyes on Me shadow palette. This is what the, the top of it looks like, and then you open it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at those colors. 
Look at these are so beautiful and I love like the little the glitter because I love putting glitter like on my the tip of my lid too. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so excited. Can you be quiet? Out? You just want to be in the vlog, huh? Can I slide it out? Give me a minute, hold on. So this is the snatched me face palette. She looks so pretty right here too. So this thing you just like slide it too. I like these two that you just like slide. And this is what the top of the front of it looks like. And then you open it up. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these colors. These are so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. <sighs> so that's everything that came in the PR package. So yeah, um, that's gonna pretty much be it for this um, vlog, you guys. Sorry, it was kind of like short. What? Oh yeah, she wants to show you. I already showed them this one though, baby. So they came with stickers. I can't believe it came with stickers. That's so pretty. She she wants to keep the stickers, huh, mama? But don't start sticking them all over your toy box or anything, okay? <clears throat> That's going to be for this video, you guys. And hopefully you like this little came, like, come shopping with me. Um, I haven't, like, vlogged out in public in a while because, like, like I said, we've been sick and stuff. Oh, my gosh. And then an update, too, you guys. This is so crazy. Okay, so basically when we were at Costco, when we were, like, in the checkout line, I got, like, a text with um our pcr results well basically it was only mine and donovan's pcr results but basically we're s this is from the first test i believe so it shows that we're positive so i don't know really how this works i don't know if it's like we have to wait for the second pcr test to come to see if that one's a negative or positive uh i'm just like a little confused so i did let the their school know that donovan is positive i'm positive i don't have the two little ones um results yet jerry does um oh jerry got jerry got his his was positive too so like i said i don't know if they're gonna go based on that was like when we first tested and then the second test i don't know if i really don't know how that works um but i will keep you guys updated on that but basically if i mean it says positive i mean so i'm just gonna like keep like I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna see how it works. Like I said, I'm gonna call the school and be like, should I keep Donovan home? Because his, his PCR test says positive. I don't know if, if that's gonna count. Like, oh, that was because the first test, like, we have to wait for the second PCR test to come. Like I said, I have to talk to the school and see what's gonna happen or whatever. But um, it makes sense because, like I said, I'm still sick. Um, But like I said, I went based off of our last results that we got was negative. We were, like, all negative, so... That's the only reason we went out in public, you know, if if it was positive, obviously we wouldn't be going anywhere because we've been home this whole time. But anyway, um, I will keep you updated on that. Um, but yeah, so far Donovan's and my first from the first test, we got the PCR test. It says that we're positive. So, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how that works, but um, we're not going to plan to go out anywhere else right now anyway. So we just we did have to go to Costco and Walmart to get the little things that we got. Uh, we don't plan to go anywhere else um, except for, like I said, to school. But I'm going to try to talk to the school today to see, like, should I send them to school? Today's Sunday, right? Today's Sunday? Saturday, baby. I don't know why I keep thinking it's Sunday. But, yeah, so I'll have to talk to them today to see, like, hey, should I send them to school on Monday? Or, like, how does, I mean, I don't know. Like like I said, I'll update you guys on that, though, because I don't know how really how that works. But that's going to be for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And... For all the little updates I had to give you guys. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, um, the I'm so excited for my PR package, the Yvette EVETXO. And um, I can't wait to do some really nice like makeup looks with it. Stay tuned because I'll be I will be doing some makeup looks uh, on this channel um with the palette. Once I start feeling a little bit better, like I said, I don't really feel too much up for doing makeup or anything or even doing my hair. I only did it today just so I could look decent for you guys because I'm breaking out so I don't want to, I don't want to look so like pale and dead because I've been looking really pale lately because I've been sick. But that's going to be for this video, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And like I said, I'll try my best to start vlogging more for you guys. I just have not been up to it. So please bear with me. But I do appreciate all your support. I do appreciate my new subscribers. And I'm so excited. I finally reached 300. Um, yeah, I want to say 300K. No, not yet. <laughs> Soon, hopefully. But I reached 300 subscribers on my channel, so I'm so excited about that. Thank you, guys. And like I said, just help me get to 500, and I will be doing that $100 giveaway. And then when I get to 1,000, I will do an even bigger giveaway like you guys are not even expecting. It's going to be a huge giveaway. 
so um yeah so continue to support me um and you know tell your friends and family to subscribe to um i have a lot of exciting things coming up um like i said i'm vlogging my whole journey as a surrogate you guys are also going to see uh, my birth video and like all kinds of exciting things coming up so with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video bye